Hi, uh, I'm Lily. I run Queer Fiction, which is an LGBTQIA plus variety night. Um, and today I'm going to be running a, a workshop uh, which will use creative writing to playfully explore gender, sexuality and identity. So I am going to start by introducing myself, but first, here is an audio description of what I look like for those who need it. So I am a white person. I am wearing little galaxy earrings. I have a nose piercing and glasses. I'm wearing a daisy headband. My hair is medium length and greenish blue. And I am wearing a shirt that is black with gold stars on. So I am a queer creative and a poet. As I said before, I run queer fiction. Um, and I have been exploring gender and sexuality throughout my own writing for about two years. So today um, I'm going to run through a few exercises which should hopefully get you exploring identity through a range of different lenses. Something that I've noticed, especially in my own writing, um, is that explorations of gender and sexuality can largely focus on the pain, grief and struggle of living as a marginalised person. While these, of course, are important subjects to discuss, this workshop is designed to help you explore these themes with compassion, curiosity and a sense of playfulness. However, this doesn't mean that if you write less than optimistic pieces, you are somehow doing this workshop wrong. Whatever you write is a valid response to your own experience. Before we begin, I'd like to check in with you and offer a little bit of advice on what you can do if any of the exercises in this workshop lead you into territory that you are not personally ready to um, explore uh, due to trauma, negative experience, or just a sense of discomfort. Uh, firstly, please feel free to skip exercises, to pause, and give yourself time away if you ever need it. You shouldn't feel, don't feel pressured to continue with any exercise that you are finding challenging for the wrong reasons and take the workshop at your own pace. Only engage in the exercises that hold value for you. So if you feel you are writing and you start to go down a path that may be triggering to you, please just take some time out for yourself if you need it. I'd also like to say that any form of writing is welcome in this creative writing workshop. So whatever you are most comfortable with, I tend to write poetry, but I know lots of other people prefer prose. So whatever form feels right to you. Lastly, so normally in a workshop, we'd be able to share back and I'd be able to hear what you have written and that's my favorite parts of the workshop unfortunately we can't do that because this is a recorded workshop however if you produce anything in this workshop that you would like to share with me or with the lgbt plus literature festival please feel free to post the work on your social media and tag queer fiction uk or leeds lgbt book club or email the piece using the links in the description to the video. We would love to hear what you have written. So if you write something you're really proud of or think is interesting, please do send it along. I really enjoy hearing other people's work. So this is a little check-in um, because I would normally start a workshop um, going around the circle and checking in with all you lovely people, but we can't do that today. So I want to encourage you to kind of check in with yourself, grab yourself some water, I've got some juice right here, um, a snack if you feel like it, and a fidget or sensory tool if you find them useful. 
I'm also going to run a very brief mindfulness exercise to help you check in with yourself and prepare you for creativity. If you'd like to skip this part of the workshop, please feel free. I know this doesn't work for everyone. However, if you would like to join me, please sit in a relaxed position and it can help to have your eyes closed for this exercise. And let's just take a couple of deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. And again, in through the nose and out through mouth. Now I want you to imagine that in the center of your body, there is a tiny beam of light. And once you notice this little beam of light, it starts to gently grow and fill up your body. It feels like sitting and soaking up sunshine and the qualities of warmth and light start to fill your body as the light grows. And there's nothing to do, just watch it as it grows. What color is the light? How does it move in your body? Does it move steadily and calmly as you breathe? Does it dart around, excited or drift? Once the light has filled up your body, it begins to grow beyond and explore the room around you. Imagine the light filling the room you are in. Then perhaps even growing beyond the walls of the room, maybe creeping down the stairs, stepping out into the street and washing over leaves and bricks and maybe the occasional cat. There is no limit to how far this light can stretch. So just take a minute now to see how far it grows as you watch it. And now, just taking a slow breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And gently opening your eyes. Thank you for joining me with that. Now, let's begin. We are going to begin with a short writing exercise to get our creative muscles all stretched out. So, I want you to pick a colour. The task for the next five minutes is to write a description of the colour, but you are not allowed to name it. 
or any variation of it. So for example, if I was writing about the color purple, as in the color, not the book. So if I was writing about the color purple, my description would not be allowed to contain the word purple, indigo, lilac, etc. Instead, I want you to focus on exploring the color creatively. If purple had a scent, a sound, a taste, what would that be? If purple was an element of nature, what would it look like? Would it be a sunset, a galaxy, an ocean? Would it be an object, a person or an animal? We will be free writing in this exercise, which is where you write constantly for the amount of time given. And if you're struggling or feel stuck, a good technique uh, is just to simply write, I am writing. So if I was to run out of ideas, I would start writing, I am writing, I am writing, I am writing until um, I got a new train of thought and then I could continue with the creative writing. So you will have five minutes to do this. So hopefully your creative muscles are now feeling nice and warmed up. And for the next exercise, we are going to focus on an aspect of our identity. This could be how we define our gender, our sexuality, or it could be a role we play in someone's life, such as partner, sibling, or friend. It could even be something very simple, like your favorite meal or the color of your hair. It just has to be something that is linked to you and feels like a part of your identity. So for now, just make a short list of the different aspects of your identity. So part two of this exercise, I want you to choose between four and five of the following questions and answer them. You can also make up your own questions if that fits you better. These are just here for guidance and there is a text-based document with the questions included in the resource pack that is linked in the video description for those who need it. So when answering these questions, try and be as specific as possible. For example, if you decide that the animal that best represents you is a crab, what size is the crab and what colour? Is it a hermit crab or is it a different kind of crab? And why does it live? Does it live in a rock pool, a stream, a coral reef? If you decide that fire is the element that represents you, what does the flame look like? Is it more of a Bunsen burner, the blue flame, or is it a bonfire just kind of crackling in the ashes? And try to answer as honestly as possible. If you feel today that you are a potato, then write that down, even if you would rather be a chili pepper. Okay, here are the questions. If I was a type of weather, I would be. If I was an animal, I would be. If I were an element, so fire, earth, air or water, I would be. If I were a plant, I would be. If I was a building, 
I would be. If I was a book, I would be. If I was a sound or a song, I would be. If I was a colour, I would be. If I was a vegetable, I would be. I'm going to give you 10 minutes on the clock here, but of course, feel free to pause or fast forward the video if you find you need more or less time than this. We are now going to combine everything we have done in the workshop so far. So first, choose an aspect or perhaps um, aspects, maybe up to two aspects of your identity that you would like to explore from the list you wrote earlier. And using the answers to the questions you just went through as inspiration, I want you to creatively explore this aspect of your identity and how you relate to it using the same kind of techniques we used in the warm up exercise. So writing your identity by exploring it through more abstract or outside ideas, and then including some of the emotion wrapped up in the, your relationship to that identity, if you like. For example, if you chose a storm as your weather pattern, how does this reflect your relationship with this aspect of your identity? <clears throat> you can pick and choose as much as you like from your lists. You may find that one particular image really sticks with you and you would like to explore that for the whole exercise. That's brilliant. Uh, you may want to explore a couple of different things, also fine. And you might even find yourself writing about something completely different and that is also okay. So you have 12 minutes on the clock. So we are now in the second part of the workshop and we are going to move on to a new exercise. So for part one, I want you to think of a game or instructions that you roughly know the rules to. It could be a game that you used to play in the playground. It could be one you made up with your siblings or your friends. It could be a board game. Um, if you don't want to focus on a game, I would suggest something else that you know fairly well and that brings you some kind of playfulness or joy, uh, such as your favourite recipe, for example. <clears throat> We're going to spend five minutes just writing out the rules from our own memory. And please include the more specific parts of memory in there. So if you write about Scarecrow Tag or Monopoly, you could include the time you tripped and hurt your knee or the time your brother threw the play money all over the room in a huff. What we want is instructions that reflect your experience of playing it. For part two of this writing exercise, we are going to focus on ourselves and our identities. So we will have 15 minutes to write about ourselves as though we were giving instructions or explaining the rules to our identity. And you can choose just one aspect of your identity. If you like, for example, you could choose gender or sexuality, or you could just write about yourself more generally, it's up to you. 
and you can take inspiration from the writing you just did or go in a completely new direction. So if you find yourself straying away from the structure of writing yourself out like this, writing yourself as a game or a recipe, that's okay. Just try to begin the piece in that way. And again, try to include memories within this and make it personal to you and your experiences. So for example, if I started writing myself as a recipe list of ingredients, it might look like this. Uh, one heap of brightly patterned dungarees, sparkles and colours. Four teaspoons of fiery loyalty or added spice. Three cups of the softness of your heart when she meets your eyes that day. One ego softly beaten. So you have 15 minutes uh, to write about yourself uh, in the same way that you just wrote about the game that you wrote out the instructions for um, and have fun exploring. Thank you for joining this creative exploration with me. I hope it's been useful. And if you would like to share anything, please do so using the social media tags. We are going to just do a quick optional wind down. Uh, so if you would rather not, please do just stop the video here. And again, I hope this has been useful for you. For everyone else, I just want you to close your eyes and I just want you to imagine you are sat on some grass and you're sat in a beam of sunlight and it's just warming you, you can just feel it through your skin. And just soaking up the sun. Thank you so much.